Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be using Shadow Slowbro with its new community day move Surf in the Spring Cup to see what it can do here because there's a lot of tentacles out here so we're going to go ahead and attempt to try to counter that with the confusion damage on the Slowbro and with its new move Surf that it's not going to require as much energy as Water Pulse it's going to be coming in handy plus getting Stab. Secondary move we're going to be going with Psychic and uh, let's see what we can do with it. We're going to be pairing it up with Mawile leading in the front for most of the time, we'll put the slow row up front in a little while. For that third Pokemon, we're going to fluctuate between a couple of different ones here. We got Ferrothorn and Lantern, so let's see what we can do here. And with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up, y'all. I've been really knocking it out of the park here. Really appreciate that. And you're really going to not want to miss my next video. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications on so you do not miss one of my videos. And are kept up to speed on what's going on here without, you know... Uh, I was going to say bootlick here, but uh, just giving you the truth. How about that? All right, let's get into the commentary here. What is going on up against the old toilet face bird here? Okay, we're, I think, you know, it's probably going to be best if we double shield this. I don't care if they're going to bait me. There's a hurricane there, so okay. We just need to win this matchup because, well, we got a, <laughs> I mean, uh, a bomb is still back here. We're just going to maul it down with Mawile, letting that energy ball go, bringing in the Mawile and taking the win. Mawile rules in this cup. It is the king of the spring cup. And there it is, Shadow Mawile. Okay, so I will pretty much lose all the CMP up against another Mawile here. I feel like I want to make another Shadow Mawile with higher attack when I know there is going to be a bunch of Mawiles in a specific cup so I can win that CMP. But guess what? It doesn't really matter for these mirror matches because it's a double KO unless somebody shields up the power up punch. And that's a shield down. And then your Mawile is going to go down in a second and get farmed down at that so i'm going to go ahead and bring in my slow bro and they're bringing in their obama snow here which is shadow so it's taking a lot of damage here and they're going to be baiting me but i found at this point i was like you know what i i almost want to double shield it again because of the damage that we're doing we do have the lantern in the back so it's going to be best that we do this here so please show me a tentacruel and it is going to be a a little nine tails shadow okay that's great they're going to be shielding up that surf and we're going to go ahead and just stay here swap to catch I already know they're not going to throw a weather ball or were they okay weather ball catch let's go so they could have a dazzling gleam as well as psy shock i'm going to go with the psy shock and that's exactly what it is all right and we're going to go for the thunderbolt here and just take them out all right let's just get this over with and we should be able to quick move down the obama snow with the lantern and we take the win looking good so we will be replacing lantern with ferrothorn and it did make for a nice team seeing that there's not a bunch of fire pretty much just mawile all right so we're going to be seeing a trevenant they swap into their jellicent and we bring in the lantern to have a little fun here we can let this first one go shadow ball it's going to do a decent amount but nothing to be worried about going for the thunderbolt here let's see if they want to play that shield game and they do okay here we go so they are going to probably double shield this I say probably because I try to tend not to spoil it. So if I do that, it's like, well, you don't know your own battles. I just don't want to spoil it. Okay. <laughs> a lot of times. So there you go. Double shield. There it is. So I'm thinking, you know what the heck with this? This is probably going to be a bubble beam, but, uh, or a surf. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's what I meant. Surf. Okay, so there it is, a Surf, but we're still shielding that up anyways to win this swap. And we still have a shield as well. They're going to be able to get some decent farm. And there's a Tentacruel bringing in the Slowbro to do some confusion damage. And take a look at that. Isn't that incredible? Now, typically you would, you know, Acid Spray, right? You know, Sludge Wave this time, right? Yeah, because I'm trying to showcase this son of a gun. It's always... It's the story of my life, okay? So, uh, if I would have shielded that up, this is how it would have went. Farmed them down, would have had a Psychic, done a ton of damage to the Trevenant, which doesn't have any energy. The Mawile was still healthy. I would have, uh, I don't know, kept confusioning. They could have Shadow Clawed me up, but by that time, the Psychic would have done so much. The Mawile could have just chomped it away, and I could have taken the win. I'm just saying, if I would have shielded that up. Anyways, next battle, what do we got going on here? Ferrothorn in the fight, and it is going to be staying for the rest of these battles here. And we're up against the Tentacruel here. I was getting sick and freaking tired of lanterns and tentacles okay i know i'm using a lantern but it it's the meta so you know I'm like, why are you using it so you got to combat it so here we go with the ferrothor and i was like man no wonder there's so many damn ferrothors out here and there's the mall out like oh damn that hurts so we bring in our slow bro here in which we're not going to have to worry about anything because you know what iron head power punch are all resisted they swap back into their tropius and the mall wild does have energy we need to keep that in mind we're going to go ahead and let that first quick move go or uh, charge move leaf blade doing a decent amount they're going to be shielding up power punch to maintain their health as much as possible here 
Now we do have two shields. We could technically let this go and just confusion down, but we're going to go ahead and shield it up. Seeing that we are powered up at this point, I mean, might as well force them to throw. They're going to go for the power punch and get a fire fang through, but not even yet. This is going to do a decent amount after powering up our attack by one stage and one more fire fang is doing enough to bring him into the yellow. And we could almost just confusion down here, but we're going to shield it up because I'm not going to try to find out that they have a uh, iron head and all of a sudden it's doing enough damage, right? After they powered themselves up, although it wouldn't. Next battle, we're met with a Shadow Victory Bell. Let's go. They're going to be swapping into an Arachnoid, and we are going to bring in our Ferrothorn here. Uh, Lantern would have been great, but uh, we're just going to have to do this right about now. Don't want to bring in the Slowbro, because we're going to be taking super effective from that Bug Bite as well as Bug Buzz. So we're going to go ahead and just bring in the Ferrothorn here. And yeah, Bug Buzz is actually going to do a decent amount to Ferrothorn as well, seeing that we are going to be Park Grass. Steel type is neutralizing it, so it's not super effective, but you better believe it's still going to be doing a ton of damage here. Unfortunately, that is what it is going to be, and they're going to be able to take me out here. And we're still up a shield, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Mawile. We're actually just going to farm them down all the way here, and then kind of just put our hope into the Mawile, because remember, give it an inch and it will take a mile, so long as it has something that is super effective up against it, we'll just run through it. It's a Tentacruel, okay. Well, it's all up to the slow road doing this confusion damage. Look at that. Did a ton to the Tentacruel and uh, wiped out that Victory Bell. So now it's all up to the Maul. Wow, we're going to go for an Iron Head here, doing some decent damage. Now, at this point, they're thinking, I don't want to get hit by another Iron Head, right? They got a lot of energy. So I go for the Power Up Punch, and we're getting a shield, and that's what we needed to happen here. Now, this is going to be one of the closest battles. So we got to... <laughs> Cross our fingers. I was going to be so annoyed. I was like, come on, let me get there. Oh my goodness. I got one shield left, folks. We got that quick move through. We do have enough energy, so we are going to be able to tap it immediately. Is this going to be enough to take out the Tentacruel? And it is. Of course it is. I had no health left. I could have done it with a power up punch at that point. Okay, next battle, we're going to be seeing a Whizcash. That's a bad lead, but we do have some, you know, somewhat of a decent counter in the back here. So bring it in the slow row. They can't go for Blizzard. Mud Bomb's going to do a decent amount, but we can let that go. A couple, as a matter of fact. Probably want to shield up the next one just in case they want to shield later down the line here, which they're sh you know, shielding up the Surf right away. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and shield up this Mud Bomb. We can take one more. That quick move damage is starting to add up, so it is going to be very close when they do land it. How much is this Surf going to do to that Whizcash? Of course, they survive with about 1 HP, and they bring in a Pelipper. All right, we're going to go ahead and go for Surf and just stay in here for now because I just I think... We just wanted the farmers down and throw. That is just the best way to go. Look how much damage. We already took them out. So we'll bring in the Ferrothorn and farm them down. They might be able to get to a blizzard here. Or not a blizzard, a uh, hurricane. So we'll have to just take that. Uh, is that going to be a hurricane already? Nah, yeah, of course not. They go for two. Eh, could have almost been. So they go for a weather ball here. Probably trying to get out of shield. I'm not shielding it up. Farming them down. They're bringing in... A Manting. All right, now if you're wondering why do you have Thunder, I'm going to show you why. You probably want to go with Mirror Shot or Flash Cannon for that secondary move. But uh, if you do have this sort of situation, you're going to be able to one-shot, and we're looking good. So they did lower my attack. Uh, Power Whip would have done a decent amount, but not what I needed to do. All right, next battle we're met with a Trevin in here. This is a good lead. We'll simply just shield up one. We'll have to call it more than, you know, they like to bait a lot of the time, so... You, you never know. You just got to shield it up anyways. And there is a seed bomb. And they're getting to another one. I'm going to go ahead and call this. This is going to be another seed bomb here. And we have a ton of energy, but in the red. So we got to be careful to bring it in a lantern. So I figured it's just going to be best that I retreat into the slow bro. Unfortunately here, we've got one shield and I shield this up. I'm like, what am I doing? This is, they got two shields. This is a lot. What, what's going on here? So we bring in, they bring in their Ferrothorn. We go for Psychic. Okay. I mean, that's just as much damage as we're going to be able to do here. Forget about going for Surf at this point. I mean, if we can reach it, sure. Uh, so they're going to power whip me down. We bring in the Maul Wow. We're going for the power up punch. I'm thinking, we got two here. We should be able to get to another one, right? Unfortunately, they have enough energy to go for another charge move here. Another mirror shot. And I do not get to hit my other power up punch. So I bring in my Ferrothorn and I'm thinking, yeah... Yeah, you know, we're not looking too good here. So let's see what we can do. We can maybe potentially pull this off because they do have, what, a lantern in the back. So let's see exactly what happens here. All right. So at this point, I'm thinking I want to kind of farm them down. But they don't. Yeah, they realize, nah, I'm going to go ahead and swap right about now and bring in my lantern. So here we go. We're going to just start throwing these power whips. We do need to get to three. So there is, well, no, we need to get to four. Yeah, four freaking power whips. Because they just shielded up that first one, so... Wait, no, three. Three. We're good. Because of all this farming. Never mind, I confused myself for a second. Okay. 
Uh, all right, folks. So I went to see uh, John Wick and Mario in the movies with my son, and they were both amazing. We are boycotting Disney. That stuff is so bad. If they come out with a decent movie, then okay. Last good movie, personally. Personally, not shows. Is going to be Rogue One. All right, so we've taken a loss in that last one. Have a good lead, though, this time around. Swapping into that Mantane, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Ferrothorn here with our Thunder equipped. So we're going to go ahead and go straight for that. Let's see if they let it go. Come on, let's land another Thunder. And we do. Beautiful. And at this point, we can farm them down. We're looking great here. Let's go. And they're going to be going for an Ice Beam. Sounds good to me. And we're still holding on to two shields in, in the yellow. We're perfect. And uh, still full health on our other two Pokemon. So they're going to be bringing back the Ferrothorn. We're going to go ahead and just start throwing Thunder here. It's just going to be doing a little bit more. I guess we can go for Power Whip, but just going to keep going Thunder at this point. Whatever. Okay, so going for another one. We're waiting to bring in our Mawile. And they're going to be going for a Charge move. Is it going to be enough to KO? Not quite, yeah. And at this point, they can farm the heck out of us. And this is going to be a lot of energy for them. Now, I didn't swap because I'm not trying to get locked. And we can take a charge move from them. Hopefully they do not have thunder. Most of the time they don't. But they could have flash cannon. Which is going to be doing a decent amount. It's going to be a power whip. And they're swapping into tentacruel. And here we go with our showcase. Slow bro confusion damage. It's doing a ton. Now we're not going to be worrying about acid spray this time. Or not acid spray. Sludge wave. Because that was a little quick. And we can rest assured that it was going to be an acid spray. So they're letting it go. Surf's doing a ton. They want to bring back that fair thorn. But there's really nothing they can do at this point. If they would have shielded up the slow bro, we would have just confusioned them down. And I think they already realized that at this point. Their best bet is, I don't know, just to put up a fight and then back out right there. I do the same thing sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't force close. I just close out and like back. I'm like, ah! All right, next battle. Met with a Shadow Nine Tails. Oh, yes. That is amazing. And they're swapping into Pelipper. And I immediately bring in the Ferrothorn here. And yet again, another Pokemon that is going to be going down in one shot, essentially, with the... Well, this goes down in one shot for sure. Uh, Man tank is going to be a little tankier. Pelipper is very squishy. And of course, they're shielding up the freaking thunder. And I'm like, come on, man. Oh my gosh. So we get hit by the hurricane. And yeah, now we're not in a great position. So let's see how this does play out here. So we bring in the slow, bro. I figure they're going to go for a weather ball. It is another damn hurricane. So this isn't good. And I'm going for the surf. Kind of just need to take this thing out. But they're using two shields. I'm thinking, wow, okay. Uh, what do you got something weak to fire? I mean, I know you got, <laughs> well, let's just see what happens here. We know this is a weather ball and I'm thinking, okay, we need one shield at least. Show me something good because we know they got that nine tails. So we're going to go straight for that iron head. Folks, what do they got in the back? Show me, show me something weak to fire, please. A shadow Venusaur. <laughs> oh, good thing we saved that shield. Do you see? Exactly. That's why you have to hold on to some. And not use them all quick a lot of times. And we're going to be able to take that win. And we're looking good. And moving on to our next opponent here. Leading with the Mawile still. And we're met with a Ferrothorn yet again. They're going to swap into what? Tentacruel? Or, nope, that's the same type. Um, spacing out its name. Uh, I don't know why. Quillfish. All right. So we let this Sludge Wave go. And oh my gosh. It just about KOs. Uh, but we have a double KO here. So they... You know, they don't have Mawile, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Ferrothorn, and they bring in their Pelipper. If I were to bring in Mawile, I probably would have... Eh, can't, can't say I would have lost, because it's going to be Ferrothorn versus Ferrothorn. But uh, this is much better. Let's just put it that way. This is great. So I go for the Power Whip, and of course they let it go. Okay, of course they let it go. And I figured it doesn't really matter. I just need to do a, some damage and bring them into the red here. And Mawile can just go ahead and farm it down. Then it will just maul down the Ferrothorn and take the win like that with the Fire Fang. You know the drill here, and we're going to do exactly that. Uh, yeah, we'll shield this up because I'm not expecting them to have Thunder at this point, and we got all this energy, and they're actually going to stay in the fight here. Going for the power-up punch to vamp up that Fire Fang here, and we're looking good. Folks, make sure you have that notification on. You do not want to miss my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done
<laughs> hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic! Touch the deck. This is the best thing.